So I'm just making a, another short little video to hammer home the point that I've been making in regards to these images that people see on their TV screens and how you can comprehend that what you're being presented with is absolute nonsense. It's very, very simple. Tomorrow I'm going to extrapolate on something that I'm going to show you right now um, and continue on this and hope that people pick up on it because it's a real issue for the globe earth, you know. Again, never mind the, the rest of the numerous things, but people are so enamoured by the image that they see and the video that they see on their TV screen. Well, they're showing you something that should, when it's pointed out to you, should leave you in no doubt that what you're witnessing is no a uh, ball earth. Right? So, hello everybody. How are we? Right? I'll get to these little videos, short videos that I made, I'm, I'm only going to be on here short, um, as I say I'm going to keep hammering this um, in the coming days to highlight it for people, but let me just find my little videos and I'll go through them. Yeah, bear with me. What I'm going to probably do is once I get through this I'm going to make a more concise, condensed, edited video. Um, and present it that way, but I'm just saying this out here. Let me see here. This one. Is it this one? Aye. Right. So what I'm showing you here, you hear it. This is me moving at the edge. Okay, if I was right in the centre of the circle here, tilted it. So from the centre of a circle, looking down at it, if I could see the edge from the central position, that's what it would look like. Okay? That, that's what I would see. And this isn't a ball. But what people have to grasp is that, as I'm going to point out here in a second, I'm off of the, the, the object. Same when I go to the ball here. My position is off the ball. Right, and a position away from it, looking at it straight on. That's the only way you can get an arc in front of you. So even here from a top down position, what is I as I say to you, you complete the circle and what you're seeing is a circle. You're not seeing a ball. That's from this position. But there's a huge problem for the globe earth and the ISS that I'm going to point out in a minute also. Right, if I remember the height in comparison, what they're showing you is ridiculous. Let me just get the next one up. So this is the other problem that I'm going to point out to you. So this section here is 1.8 metres, okay? So if we say one metre is equal to a thousand miles, a thousand miles would be, you know, um, your 24,000 mile circumference curve of Earth, right? So they say the ISS is at 250. Right, so we're a bit short of the 250, right? Near enough though. So this here would represent where the ISS is supposed to be in relation to this at that scale, right? Just fell off. Um, now, this is only 1.8 metres. So the point here 
and I'm going to draw it with chalk to scale at the ratio that I just stated and show you that from a position and any angle downwards that you're going to be looking at and how it would be presented to you and how far you would actually be seeing. Yet, as I say, and I point out in this video as well, also, you're never going to see an arc in front of you unless you're in a position, as I stated, with the ball and the, the, the plate earlier. Right? Representing just short of 2,000 miles of... camera cut there, of a 24,000 mile circumference, right, so even if the camera is going to tilt like this, you're not going to see any curve, right, it's not going to happen, it's certainly not out here in an arch like this as I pointed out before the problem you're going to have, right, the only way that you can have an arc like that is if you're in front of the thing, right? No matter where you lie it, you know, I can tilt the camera like this. Same with the ball. You know, I have to come away in here like this. But this ball is nowhere near the scale, right? The only way for me to get the curve of the ball is to be away from the ball, like that. To have it set because that's the point that people miss about the globe earth you're always at the top your position is orientated at the top of the ball and as i say even if people want to see about it, it's a camera is tilted down you shouldn't be seeing a circle in front of you right you should not be seeing a circle of a curved globe earth in front of you you wouldn't see that you would see a circle of your vision or the, the camera lens or whatever right you're not going to see a curve from a globe earth and it's absolutely impossible. Representing that sort of curve that you're seeing in these videos, right? You have to be away from the ball. As soon as we go up here, up to the top of the ball, uh oh, it starts to disappear, right? So you need to come down here like this, or if you're right at the top, as I say, tilt, but that would be a tiny ball. That's not what the globe earth's claiming. And you're completing the circle. That's all you're seeing is a circle hey, you're running. So. so let me just shut this, come back here. So, for people that don't fully comprehend it, again, just to make it short, and I'm going to make a more concise, you know, edited video. If you're thinking you're seeing a curve like that, right, from this position, right, and then you look here, what you're now seeing, a curve like this, and from here, another curve, and here, another curve, you know, do you get it? It's plain and simple in your face that what they're showing you on your TV is total and utter crap. And hopefully more people can grasp onto that and put an end to this nonsense of these images that they're seeing on their TV. Again, for one, an image should be no way, shape or form any influence on you whatsoever. How can you claim that you're scientific in any sense when you're looking at images? And I'm pointing out to you the absurdity of the images that you're looking at. When I draw this to scale, you know, 24,000 mile circumference, and I'm going to use a thousand miles represented by a meter, right? And I'm going to draw that out, and I'll show you the altitude, the position of that, and then we draw lines where it's going to touch the globe earth at the furthest point, or the circle at the furthest point, and you're going to realise that this shit that you're seeing on your TV is total and utter lunacy. You're probably sh looking at some model in front of a, a, a screen and it just plays because that's the only way you can get that arc position in front of you. And you're on the top of the ball, even if you're orbiting, you're always positioned at the top of the ball. 
You can't you have an arc in front of you. It's impossible. You just need to think about it. <clears throat> of course it makes sense. It's, it's, it's 100% the truth. Play with it yourself. Look at these images. Get a three-dimensional ball. Draw it out. Try and think about it. Totally absurd. Any globe earther that wants to come and tell me I'm wrong, by all means. But you're no gonna because you know what I'm saying is absolutely correct. So let's just have a wee look, see, shall we? Look at this let's screen share here. So, as I say, Earth from the ISS. This one here, I mean, look at this. Think about the position they would have to be. Right? And seeing a curve like that, how far away from the ball and how small the ball has to be to see it like that. Right? I mean, they're, they're, they're telling you that their position is always at the top. Wherever you are, it's relative. Top of the ball is relative to you, the observer. Why have we got an arc in front of us? Eh? Unless you're at the centre of something and you're tilted downwards and you're looking at a circle. Because right? that's all you would see looking down at a ball, a circle. Unless you were far enough away and you can move around it in three dimensions. But from that vantage point, you should never be seeing this sort of arc in front of you. Look how ridiculous it is. Look how close they are to this edge. Preposterous. 24,000 miles circumference, and that's maybe 250 miles above it. No chance. Even if it was real, you still wouldn't be seeing that. I mean, they're obviously cartoons to any, you know, rational, sane person. I mean, look at the ridiculousness of this. And the, its positioning. Complete the circle. Now, what do you think you're going to see if you turn to the left? Another arch? Eh? Or are you just going to see a complete circle? So what are you looking at then? Looking down at a circle, looking down at the top of a ball, a tiny wee one. <laughs> Look at this. Play with it yourself. You go look for a list of cameras, here's an interesting one. What's going on here? Image of the clouds and moon in the distance. NASA Earth Observatory. By, uh, this is supposedly a photograph of the International Space Station. Where's the, uh, uh, the, the you know the immense stupid curvature that we see in all the other ones? Huh? Doesn't look like that, does it? So what's going on? I'll leave that up to you to contemplate and realise how totally and utterly absurd it's just a dead horse this whole globe earth nonsense and the longer it goes the more you're going to find right any questions And even if they were, if, if, as I say, if, if the Earth was a nature-defying globe of the proportions that they claim, these images that people are seeing don't match that either. It's, it, it, they just don't match. It's a real issue. <laughs> I'd love to hear what the trolls have got to say, Sarah and Alien, on this. No, 
promise that I'm gonna Exactly, Joanna Breckler. Exactly. Cheers, Mr. Evil. Hello, Tanya. Pandemonium. 13 miles per second, yep. Tony, hello. No worries, Eric. Right, I'm going to get off. So, see, I'm going to continue on with this tomorrow. Hopefully, I've got a bit of dry weather. I'm going to chalk you know, uh, a 24 metre, you know, circumference circle and show you the position of the ISS and talk more about what you would be seeing and what you would expect to see. Because I'm, I guarantee you, and if you play with this yourself, there's no way you should have an arc in front of you. It's totally ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Yes, hopefully, Bratislav. Hopefully. Right, thanks. See you soon.